So these virtual tour photos were captured with the Insta360 X5 and the Bass360 Monopod and edited on a computer using Insta360 Studio and Affinity Photo 2. There is no need for expensive subscription software like Lightroom or Photoshop because with the help of the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX plugin, I can color grade and edit 360 photos in Affinity Photo. So let me show you how to get these results. To capture the Virtual Tour photos, I am using 360 Photo Mode. Change HDR to AEB. Set the AEB to 7. Exposure step to plus minus 1.3. White balance to auto. And format to pure short plus raw. Now move the X5 around the room and tap the shutter button in the app to take the virtual tour photos. The next step is to take the dual fisheye photos from the camera and turn them into Stitch 360 photos in Insta360 Studio on the computer. To do this, create a new project folder for the virtual tour. and create three folders inside, a raw folder to hold the file straight out of the camera, a stitch folder to hold the Stitch360 photos from Insta360 Studio, and an exports folder to hold the finished edited photos from Affinity Photo 2. Then I will copy all the photos from the camera's micro SD card to the raw folder. Open Insta360 Studio, go to Open Files, locate the project folder, go to the raw folder. I only want to import the DNGs because these are the high quality photos, so I will sort the files by kind, select all the DNGs, and click Open. Select all the photos, click export, export 360 photo, save the Stitch 360 photos in the project stitched folder, choose original resolution, check export all exposure photos, and click Start Export. When the export is finished, in the Stitch folder, there will be a new folder for each Stitch 360 photo. In each folder is a set of 7 Stitch 360 photos, and the 8th file is the set of 7 Stitch 360 photos merged together into a single Stitch DNG 360 photo. The next step is to HDR merge the set of 7 photos in Affinity Photo 2. To do this, buy and download Affinity Photo 2 and the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX. Together this will cost a total of £97 for a lifetime license. To install the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX, open Affinity Photo 2, go to Window, Library, click the menu icon, Import Macros, Locate the Best 360 Virtual Tour Enhancer FX folder, open the AF Macros file, and now the Insta360 camera presets are available in the library. Please note that this workflow does not work for the Insta360 X4. Next, go to File, New HDR Merge, Add, go to the Project Stitched folder, Make sure the files are in ascending order, select the set of 7 Stitch360 photos, click open, uncheck automatically align images, noise reduction and tone mapping and click OK. Wait for the photo to finish processing and now Affinity Photo has merged the set of 7 Stitch360 photos into a single Stitch360 photo. This is where the magic happens, select the 360 photo and with a single click of the X5 preset, the 360 photo has the maximum dynamic range possible, a color grade applied, and a seamless stitch line. If the photo temperature is too cool or too warm, then I will adjust the white balance,
If there are purple or blue color casts in the photo, then I will adjust the defringe to remove this. If the photo is too dark or too bright, then I will adjust the contrast points. If the photo color is too dull or too colorful, then I will adjust the color. If there is too much noise or grain, then I will adjust the denoiser strength. And if the photo is too soft or too sharp, then I will adjust the sharpness. The next step is to adjust the center point of the 360 photo. To do this, select the 360 photo, go to Layer, Live Projection, Equirectangular Projection, change the heading to the desired center point, click Center Coordinate System, and this is the new center point of the 360 photo. To remove the tripod legs from the 360 photo, select the photo, go to Layer, Live Projection, Edit Live Projection, look down at the bottom of the 360 photo, select the In Painting Brush tool, make the width of the brush slightly bigger than the tripod legs, make a selection over the tripod legs, And now the tripod legs have magically disappeared. It's really easy to remove because the Best360 monopod selfie stick is invisible and the tripod legs are long and thin. To save the 360 photo, select the photo, go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection, then go to File, Export, JPEG, make sure the preset is set to the best quality, Click Export. Open the Exports folder in the project. Name the photo. Click Save. And wait for the photo to export. To preview the 360 photo, open Insta360 Studio, go to the project's export folder, and open the photo. And this is the result. To use a custom X5 preset for other virtual tour photos, HDR merge the next photo. Copy the Best360 Virtual Tour Enhancer Effects folder from the previous photo. Paste it above the next photo. And that's it. Hit the like button if you learned something new, subscribe for more helpful 360 tutorials like this one, and I will see you in the next video.